welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be recording a June and July favorites for you guys. So I'm super, super excited to do this video. Um, I actually recorded yesterday, but I had to go do some errands. When I came back, I could not finish it. So I'm just sitting here and gonna re-record the whole video. Um, so I have a lot of new products I'm about to show you guys in this video and some from way back when I'm gonna be able to talk to about the other favorites that I just currently got like this month. So there's gonna be a lot of new stuff and old stuff you guys have seen. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there's gonna be a lot of new products. I really hope you guys go out and try them. If you guys have not yet. Um, I'm not in full glam today. I'm just doing a very soft look, AKA no lashes. Just kind of just staying real today, you know? Gotta go do some more errands after this, so you know how it is, the real tea. But, uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this favorites video. All right, so I don't know where to begin. There's so much. You guys looked at my table. It is insane of how much stuff is on my table. Um, Let's begin with lips, because I know that right now, this month, lips are huge, especially with Jeffree Star's. Um, Lion recently doing his summer collection and then Manny doing that collab with Ofra and there's all these crazy things going on in makeup so lips are definitely in right now so it's gonna be even bigger soon um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do my favorites for this month with my lips so this month lip wise um, I really want to try obviously the Kyla lip kit it came out about um, I don't even know a while ago that her line first started coming out but I actually am not gonna chance to be able to get one because of the amount of people who wanted them. So I finally got a kit and I wanted to try it. And the first time I tried it, I was super, super impressed. Um, I heard a lot about uh, controversy right now about the whole kits right now about Kai Majesty and all the other stuff going on, which I'm not talking about. But anyways, I really wanted to just kind of discuss a little bit about the lips um, and what you get inside. I know a lot of people have been doing a already like a box of Kai Lip Kit but I want to show mine and what color I chose. Um, I got two, I got King K, which is not in my favorites video. Um, and this favorites, I got Dulce K. So this came with the matte liquid and the liner. Um, so this is what the package looks like when you get one in the mail. Um, it comes in a box and then you just open up and it comes individually. And I got the King K as well with this. So they came together. Um, so you get a liner. So this is what the liner looks like. And then you get the matte liquid. And that's how that looks as well. So yeah, I mean, you get a lot for the TV one, and also it says Dulce K at the bottom. You get a lot for the amount of um, how much this is. I think it's like, I think it was almost $30 for each, but it smells so good. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the scent of her lips. Honestly, I kind of like it. It's not super, super strong. I might have gotten the, the batch that didn't smell bad, but it kind of seemed like vanilla, but other people were saying that it's like licorice. So I'm not really sure like what actual flavor she was going for, but for me, I just think it smells like vanilla. I would recommend getting this lip. I love the Dulce, it's very nude, it's a very neutral everyday look. Right now I'm wearing Aries, but that's just kind of like something that it's light to throw on for the summer. Um, this is definitely something for maybe like fallish, um, but I love her matte liquid lipsticks. Um, but honestly, in my opinion, compared to this to Jeffree Star's matte liquid lipsticks, his is way better, but this is something that I definitely would still love and would purchase in any other color. But um, honestly, polish is because it's Kylie, but still. Um, just her packaging is so cute and I love it. And I mean, her product is still amazing, I'm not, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just prefer other lips, in my opinion. But um, on the back, it just says, uh, Kylie's tip, you wear the liner first and then you do the fill over it. So you don't have to do as much matte liquid, you do as much liner as you can as possible. So yeah, I really love this. Go pick it up. Um, I know she did a huge restock after 4th of July, like a bunch of her colors out. And she did a huge restock so that most of it is out for like a month. So I definitely will go get it soon before it runs out. Talking about Jeffree Star, um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about his lip that I purchased. I think it was when I was in school. It was right around like, I think the middle of the year. Um, but it's just, just Jeffree Star Belvoir Liquid Lipstick. And this is what it looks like close up. Um, I got the color in Gemini. I love this on the lips. It is such a good nude. Um, it's honestly kind of like a cherry nude. It's very, it's really hard to describe what color it is because it can be different colors depending on what lip you have and what color skin you are. Um, but I definitely would recommend this color for sure. Um, I can do a little swatch if you guys want me to. It is really beautiful and his brush is honestly so big. It is giant. It's like, I don't even get it. I love it because I mean, I have big lips, so it's just kind of like something to flip on real quick and it's easy. With the Kylie, I did show you guys a tip. Um, I know there's lots of stuff going on for tips, 
Um, her tip was just a normal tip, which I like as well, um, but I prefer the bigger tip. But this is what the swatch looks like. Um, it kind of reminds me of Kylie's like Posey K, but darker. Um, but I love, love, love this so much. I definitely recommend getting this lip. Um, I want to get more of his lips. I know his summer collection just came out and he has a bunch more other stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out his online website. And this, this is definitely one of my major favorites and my lips that I use maybe on a daily basis or I'm going full glam or doing a video, I just pop this on and you know, it's something just to wear. Um, but I, it's an amazing, amazing product. It is high end for sure. Like, let me tell you when it's high end, it's no cracking. I drink, eat, and everything with it, and there's it, it stays. It's not gone. Um, Ofra and Jeffree Star are very similar. The Manu Mue calibration, like what I'm wearing today, there's barely any rubbing. There's nothing like foliage coming off. I recommend it completely. On the topic of Ofra Cosmetics, uh, they did a collab with Manu Mue, and I'm obviously obsessed with him. So I got obviously all three colors because why not? Um, they were on sale for all three for like I think it was like. $45 for all three, but um, I was thinking about getting just a separate one. I am wearing Aries today. I was just gonna do the lighter shade, but I decided, you know what, like I want to get darker shades for when it is darker time and the fall season because during the fall season, Hypno would definitely be an amazing color to get. Um, this is Hypno Aries. So it's charmed. Well, honestly, all three of these are amazing. Aries is the lighter shade. And then Charmed is the darker shade of Aries. And then Charmed is Hypno, but Hypno is darker than Charmed. So it just goes on and darker. Um, I honestly love this so much. Like, they're long lasting. When it says long lasting on this package, it's long lasting. I recommend these completely. They're on, these are, this and Jeffree Star are definitely my top two favorite lips this month. Like, hands down, love them. It's everything to me. I wear these every day like Aries and Gemini I would wear every single day it's just a simple nude you can throw on every day goes with every outfit it's perfect I recommend it completely all right guys so I was actually stalking Manny's uh YouTube one day I was actually watching a video of him and he had this really beautiful plush pinkish nude lip that he had on and I realized after that he was wearing a liner and then put this lipstick over it I need to get the liner still but this is blushing beige 915 and Maybelline this color is gorgeous like when i tell you it's gorgeous it's beautiful just with a gloss to go over it. it is very glossy so it's streaky so i would recommend wearing a liner with this lipstick but it's so beautiful i don't know if i do swatch because it is very light but that's what that is it is so beautiful it's such an amazing color and pigment it's just beautiful um i would again recommend wearing a liner over this it's very streaky so I would recommend just getting a liner and just kind of putting it over it. And it, it, this is more like gives you shine and, and it's kind of an overlay for a lip, especially if you're gonna do a liner that's a different color. Let's go into foundation. So I have two foundations I'm gonna be talking about. Now, one of the other foundations I just discovered like literally three days ago. I mean, I knew about it already, but I did not try it until yesterday. I am wearing it today. It is the L'Oreal Paris of the 24 hour foundation infallible pro glow. Now this is in 207 and this is the sand beige. This stuff is bomb. I'm wearing it today. Honestly, this stuff is amazing. It is so glowy, it is so dewy. It is, honestly, it says whatever it says on the bottle. Like it is beautiful. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with is it says, um, wear up to 24 hours and the coverage is medium. The coverage is, I would say light in my opinion, just because with me and my red areas, it does get very, like I gotta do double, like I gotta overlay and overlay and overlay. Um, but that's just with any foundation. It's the same with the Maybelline that I'm gonna be doing in my favorites today. Um, but I'm obsessed with this texture. Like this texture is beautiful. Here's what it looks like up close. This is beautiful. Like the texture is so smooth. It goes on beautifully. It is not hard on your skin. Like when I took it off, like right after I filmed the video yesterday, it wasn't harsh on my skin at all. And sometimes when you're wearing foundation, it is a little hard on your skin. So it's, it was just amazing. I love this. I would recommend this completely. If you're more interested about learning about this foundation, I did do a review for it. So if you guys want to see um, more complex review about this certain foundation just came out, I would go and look at that video. So we're gonna talk about the Maybelline Fit Me, um, 
matte and poreless foundation. Now this is normal to oily. This is what the bottle looks like. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. I'm not gonna lie, it's beautiful. This is my second favorite foundation other than the L'Oreal. Like these two are hands down bomb. Again, I did a review for these foundations, so now I'm not gonna get into it too much. Um, if you guys wanna see a like full like review comparison of these two, let me know in the comments down below. But I just did a review on this product. Um, I did talk about Maybelline compared to this product, but um, again, I'm not like, you know, sitting there doing half face Maybelline, half face L'Oreal. I just did all face L'Oreal because I wanted to do a review on just this product, but I just kind of compared it to this because this did just come out as well. So that's just a little bit about the um, these two foundations, and I'm going to go see a review for the foundation of the um, Infallible. Just click down below and it'll be in the description. Now, I only have one major favorite concealer that I have this month. So I, I don't know, I haven't really tried a lot of concealers this month. It's kind of weird to think because I'm obsessed with concealers and foundation, but um, I honestly have not tried any other uh, concealers and I really need to. But for right now, I've been trying the NYX Concealer HD and this is an O2. That's what it looks like. I'm obsessed with this concealer. It's beautiful. I've been using it for months, 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 months. It's what under my eyes right now. I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing coverage. I wouldn't say it's high, high, high coverage. Um, there is obviously other concealers that are majorly, majorly um, high coverage, but I would recommend this for a starter. Same with foundation. I would recommend Maybelline and L'Oreal as a starter foundation for anyone who's starting on YouTube or doing makeup. So I do recommend this concealer highly, highly, highly. Um, but again, I was recommending a concealer to a higher end person who has already had experience in makeup. It'd be like something like Tarte or um, Marc Jacobs or Chanel or stuff like that. It, that's just higher end concealers than it is compared to this. This is all drugstore. Um, but you know, once I get higher up, then I can do bigger, better concealers and stuff and do reviews for that as well. So if you guys have ever wondered what I use to contour my face, um, I've gotten a lot of compliments out and about when I go out in public about my contour. Um, it is the BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush 2 Palette. It has a six color palette. Um, on the back, it just says, get the most of have palette in every makeup artist kit. This easy to use face palette works for every skin tone, six universal, Versatile matte shades and both warm and cool tones that can be used to contour, highlight, set, blush with a pop of color. This is what the palette looks like. If you just open it up, it's a mattish black container. And this is what the back looks like, all the instructions and just kind of description of what I just said. And this is what the palette looks like. Obviously, I've used it since it's dusty on the top, but this stuff is bomb. I love it. I said this is underneath my under eyes, after I did my concealer and my powder. This stuff is amazing. I would recommend getting this completely. There's another one that has a lot more blushes and more pinks in it than the, these three contour colors. And then two blushes, it's actually three blushes and two contours, so it's opposite. So if you guys are into that, I'll leave that in the description. Um, but if you guys are interested, just go to BH Cosmetics, um, their online website, and you guys get this palette. Speaking of contour and highlight, um, I'm gonna talk about my highlight. So recently, I've been using the um, Bare Minerals. I've honestly just been using this recently, and that's about it. Um, I have it on now today on my nose, cupid's bow, and cheeks. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Queen Phyllis. I got this at Sephora, so if you guys are interested, that's where you can get it. This is what the bottle looks like, and the color is like a very pretty goldish rose. It's very, very beautiful, if you guys can see it. Um, it has little specks like rose gold in it. It's gorgeous. I It's so high pigment. I would recommend this completely to anyone who is starting high, high pigment shade. And this is honestly, I think it was like $15. It is not that expensive for a highlight because other highlights can be very expensive. So I do recommend that. It is an amazing, amazing product. Um, I did pick up the Maybelline New York Master Contour um, Palette. Now I don't use the contour and highlight in this um, palette, but I do use the blush. So I want to show you guys the blush color right here. I am wearing that on my cheeks today. Um, it's just something you kind of like throw on very easy for a summer look and something very light. Um, I normally, I actually try this highlight and it's not very strong. Like it's, it's a very good highlight to overlay another highlight. So if I did this and then I did my Bare Minerals highlight, that's what it's for. Um, just kind of give you a base for your highlight. Now, moving on to brows. I have three products I'm going to show you guys. Um, the first one is the NYX in the color, I believe, Espresso. So the number is just 04. This is what the bottle looks like. 
I'm obsessed with this. It is bomb. I use this on my brows today. Honestly, my eyebrow um, routine is not like as professional as other people's do. I kind of just like whip it on and I'm good. Um, I care more about my face than my eyebrows, but also again, I love eyebrows. It is very defined on your face and looks very like natural. If you make it look natural or you can just make it look unnatural, obviously. But I do love a natural like just looking brow, but also very defined at the same time and very poppin' pop in and slaying brow because you have to have that slaying brow. Um, so this is what I use and this is the gel. So first I would do the NYX uh, micro brow pencil. That's what the brow pencil looks like. Um, and this just has the little, uh, the one side that has a brow pencil and the other side is this little squibby thing. You know how like I said squibby thing and not actually saying what it's called? Um, but this, I just normally go in and line my brow first at the top and bottom of it and then go in and fill that in. Kind of get it blended as much as possible and then go in and do the hairs and then I'll go in with the gel and go over it so it's darker and you get that really sleek back look. So it does a like move around and like when you're in the wind, like when you're just, I don't know, whoever knows when you're in the wind, if you're like in a storm or something. Um, <laughs> whoever's in the storm, I don't know. Um, but anyways, if you're in the wind or just something that, you know, if you're doing, if you're going at fast speed and your brow moves, this is very nice to put on as a gel so it keeps the hair still moving. Um, uh, so I also use the, um, e.l.f. brush and I don't know what number this is. It does not have a number, but this is what the brush looks like. I use this mostly just underneath my brow just to go in and kind of find it and make sure all the lines are straight because no one wants those curvy ass brows. Um, you know, women go up more, but for guys, you know, I just want to do something simple and just kind of go in and make sure all my lines are straight. Um, because sometimes you can overline. So I go over with this if I overline and just kind of swipe it away, and it's a really easy maneuver and just something that it's just kind of easy to get into the tiny quarters. Just something to easy if you do overdraw a little bit and you're not even, kind of just go in and just even it. Now, speaking of lashes, um, recently, actually before I talk about this, I started using the Ardell Wispies lashes. Then I came home to Atlanta and I have not been able to find them at all. I have not been able to track them down. So I have been using the Kiss Ever Edge lashes in the number 11. This is what they look like. I went through them really fast, but I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're amazing. They're so natural, um, but they still very give you a very pop and look, and it's very lashy on the ends. And, and then it, it gets long at the ends, and it gets short in the middle. So it's beautiful. If you guys want to close up, just kind of long at the ends and short in the middle. So this is beautiful, beautiful lashes. If you guys are looking for a simple lash and you guys are just now starting, it is very, very nice lash. Just to kind of stick on, it's easy. And I do use the Maybelline New York, the Falsies Push Up Drama Waterproof Mascara. This is what the mascara looks like. I use this on a daily, I do this on my normal lashes and then I put on the face lashes and then I put on more mascara. Just get that double look and um, still make them look natural, even though they're falses. Um, just to give you that push-up look and that drama, and I did wear those in my other two tutorials. So if you guys wanna see what the, those lashes look like on me personally, you go to those two tutorials. I'll link them down below, um, and you guys can see what this mascara looks like on those falses. So I just got the um, Revlon new eyelash curler. I've been using this recently. I'm obviously obsessed with this. It's I've been trying to test out eyelash curlers because the other eyelash curlers I got, um, a lot of the rubber in the middle would just kind of go down and break really easily really fast and I didn't want to keep replacing that over and over and over again honestly I've had this for months and it has not worn down I have not had to replace the rubber thing inside it's an amazing amazing eyelash curler I recommend this completely I got this at CVS and Savannah I'm sure you guys can get this at any CVS in your local area with eyes I have recently been wearing a white eyeliner um, it is from New York City color and it is the color 926 in white this is what the stick looks like. Um, it was already sharpened for you, so you don't have to sharpen it. This stuff is bomb. I love this stuff just to eyeline the bottom of my waterline to make sure my eyes are really big if I'm doing a very dramatic look and a glam look. I would recommend this completely. I love this product so much, and it's just an easy thing to throw on. The only thing that I have an issue with is when I have foundation underneath my eyes, and I gotta, I gotta kinda like wipe out my under eye because the white pigment is not as strong as I want it to be, but it's still a very nice pencil for, you know, like a starter. 
that's the pigment of the liner. I would recommend this completely. It's very, very pigmented. It's beautiful, but when you overlay it with something, it gets a little unpigmented. So when you move it around, it's very like, you know, just, I don't know, very thin, but also pigmented at the same time. I have two major eyeshadow products, and I'm super excited to talk about them. This is honestly my number one, number one, like, I'm not kidding, number one favorite this month. Now, I got this a few months ago, and I have not been able to use it because I have not been home to film videos. So now that I'm finally home, I've been using it constantly, and I'm sure you guys already know what I'm talking about. But first of all, before I talk about it, um, this is the eyeshadow base by NYX and it's the white pearl. This is what I've been using for vibrant colors on my eyeshadows. So it's just a white um, or a white um, little cup and this stuff is bomb and it's so pigmented. I can show you just a little like swatch if I can even do it. That's just a little swatch of this pigment. It is so beautiful and so nice to put on a base on your lids especially for um, if you want a vibrant color because sometimes the colors that you have in a palette can be less pigmented as others. So if you put this on top of that, um, it's very well to overlay and it, and it mixes really well. I used that base color in my Morphe 350S palette look last week and the peach look. So if you guys want to see what that base looks like on my eye um, close up, go to that tutorial. That will be down in below because I'm sure a lot of those products are in this video that I'm going to be referring to in that video. So if you guys want to see any of the products that I've been using on my face personally on in uh, tutorials, definitely go check out other tutorials because I've been using those. The next thing I talk to you guys about is the Morphe 350S palette, the shimmer palette. I'm super, super excited to talk about this. <gasps> this palette is bomb. Like, just fireworks everywhere, fire. It's amazing. You guys have to get this palette. I would recommend getting the normal 350 palette, the all matte palette too, because sometimes it is kind of frustrating to have an all shimmer palette uh, when you want to do a matte look. So you're gonna kind of like double, double lay a shimmer to make it that pigmented as a matte color. But still, I mean, whatever, I mean, it's worth it. So I'm gonna show you guys what the palette looks like. So when you open it up in the package, you get a piece of paper, and then you get another piece of paper of the Morphe, just kind of like shows you like, hey, this is what it is. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just a matte finish, black, and this is Morphe on the front, because it's 350S, the number. So when you open it up, this is what the palette looks like. Now, I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm not gonna lie, it is beautiful. The shimmers are incredible. The pigment is amazing. It's just amazing coverage. I use mostly this, all this down here. I use these. I don't normally use a lot of these because they're very like, light colored on my face because I'm already white as it is. So, this is a very good eye corner color for a highlight. Um, but everything else I can use um, other than like, this row right here. It's very hard to use just because of my color of my skin. I recommend this completely. I got this on sale for, I believe, I think $25. It's normally like $45 per palette. So if you guys want this, um, I used Many New Ways code. I don't know if he's still doing it. If you guys are interested, I would go check out the site and check out his channel personally to see if he is still using a code and you guys can get more money off. But this palette, I recommend completely. Go get this. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Worth your money. Pigmented is amazing. Lots and lots of videos you can record just with this palette. I already did two videos with this palette. I'm about to do a third one. It's incredible. I highly recommend getting it. Now, I'll kind of like the last bit of my favorites this month. I kind of want to talk about my face and cosmetics wise. Kind of like daily routine of what I do at night. Um, and also what I kind of use to set my face after I do my makeup. So, let's kind of talk about the setting spray that I use. I actually got this recently. It is in Maybelline New York Master Fix Plus Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Long lasting in makeup and it is long lasting finish. So on the back it just says weight, lightweight translucent mist, extends wear and keeps, just apply makeup fresh, hold from your face and close eyes, spray four to six times evenly around the face. Honey, I do not do six, four to six sprays. I do like 10 sprays. Like it is so refreshing, it's so light. We could just like double up on so much setting and spray, it's okay. Like don't be upset about it. This stuff's only like three dollars in the CVS store. Like, come on now. Like, this stuff is bomb. Like, you'll be fine. You can set as much setting spray as you want. Use as much as you want. Because I use about like twenty sprays a day. Because I'm over here like, okay, I'll set do my foundation. Set. 
do my concealer set. Like I'm over here just like setting every day because I like to crease. So yeah, I recommend this completely. It's amazing, amazing, amazing setting spray. It's good for an everyday setting spray and good for a pharmaceutical setting spray when you can get at any pharmacy. It's amazing, I recommend it completely. All right guys, so we're now talking about face-wise after the setting spray, I'm gonna be talking about what I do in my daily routine. Um, I got these two products from Sephora when I went in one day. I got this rose face mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. It is the Fresh line, which I don't know exactly what personal line it is, but this is what the product looks like. This is the mask, and then this is the Soy Face Cleanser, and this is by Fresh for all skin types, rich in amino acids, gently cleansing face and eyes. So this is what it is. This stuff is bomb. Both these stuff is bomb. This smells like roses, and this smells like cucumber, like lime. It is like you're at the sauna and spa. Like it's beautiful. I run this completely. It's so nice on your skin. It's not harsh. And like after I use my makeup wipe, after I get all my makeup off my skin, this is so nice to use the cleanser, just because it just cleans your pores out so well. And you have to have a good cleanser at the end of the day. And this is an amazing cleanser for. I got this as a gift, so I got this free, but this is, I think, like, $10 or $50, and this is an amazing price for, I mean, again, it's only, I don't know what ounces it is, it's only, like, I think, oh, 0.6 fluid ounces, so, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not a much product for how much it is, but, I mean, it's still really good quality. For the Rose Face Mask, this is a 0.5 fluid ounces, so you of this. So I would purchase this soy mask more than the rose face mask. Now this I still have love. I still have a lot of this. Hopefully it's not going to pour everywhere. Oh, it has a lid. <laughs> but this stuff is gorge. Like, look at the inside of that. It's beautiful. It smells so good. It's like a rosy, vinegary kind of smell. It's not overly vinegary, but it's just, it's just beautiful. It just says, apply to cleanse moist skin, avoiding the eye area. It's just leave on for 5-10 to 10 minutes and rinse with water. I rinse with warm water, so if you guys do want to know what kind of water, like temperature wise you use, I would definitely use warm water for this. After doing all the face cleansing and face masks, at the end of it I do a oil free moisturizer at the end of this and then I go to bed. Um, it is Neutrogena Combination Skin Oil Free Moisturizer and this is the 4 fluid ounces. Now this is definitely worth your money, I'm sorry this is so dirty, here's a close up. This is so worth your money, like I've probably been using this for a year. And I'm not even done yet, um, probably over a year. Like I still have some in the, in the bottom, but if you guys can hear, like it's almost empty. So I'm gonna have to get a new bottle, but this stuff is bomb. Like I love it so much. I run this completely, completely, completely. Um, it's just so soothing on the skin. I do two pumps, and yours is doing one, but I do two, because you know, bitch, you can have too much moisturizer in your life. Um, but it just says on the back for combination skin and clinically proven to normalize combination skin by moisturizing dry areas while controlling shine and oily areas. So I'm very oily in my nose area and then I'm kind of like dry everywhere else. So this is really, really nice for like combo. Um, I do really heavy here and under my eyes and I do kind of light where the dry areas are because I don't want to dry out my pores even more. So now lastly about the face kind of routine-ish. So I kind of went over the light face cleanser, then I went over the mask, and then I went over the moisturizer. So now I'm gonna actually talk about how I take my makeup off. So normally I wouldn't like wash off. I actually want to try the new Clinique face, I think it's like, I can't remember what it's called, like face something, but it's in a purple tube. Um, Mandy's been using it, so if you guys want to know what it is, it's on one of his favorite videos. If you guys want to know what it is, it's just kind of like, a cleanser you put on your face, you just wipe it right off and your makeup comes right off. So like, basically like butter. So I definitely want to get that for sure. So I picked up this yesterday, the Birds of Bees Cucumber and Sage Face Cleansing Towelettes. Um, Jeffree Star uses this and I actually want to try it. And honestly, the count is amazing. I don't know how many this is in. I think it has 30 pre-moistened towelettes. So the um, pomegranate ones that I use only has 25. So this is definitely a, a better deal. You get five more towelettes. I mean, five more the better. Um, so this just removes dirt, oil, and makeup without rinsing. Um, and then on the back it says there's ingredients. Ooh, yes. It smells literally just, it smells really strong like sage, but uh, it reminds me of literally a spa day. Like my soy face cleanser, this and this smells very the same. Like this is more lighter because it is more of a liquid. This is a towelette, obviously this is gonna have more flavor because it's soaking in its own juices, kind of, which sounds really gross. But um, 
at the end of the day, they both smell the same. They're doing the same thing. This is just removing the aftermath of after you use a towelette. So I definitely would recommend using a towelette, then doing a soy face cleanser, then doing a mask, and then wipe that off and do a cleanser after. Guys, so for my final and last favorite of this month, I'm super, super excited to show you guys these. If you guys not heard on Instagram and kind of all over the YouTube community, Desi Perkins came out with this new line with key sunglasses. I'm obsessed with her line so you know me I had to purchase a pair of my they're sunny so I don't know what you guys would think what kind of pair I would get but I got the high keys I'm obsessed with these sunglasses okay you can like see me recording right now but I don't really care these sunglasses are amazing they're a beautiful sunglass the frame is gorgeous like this is a high quality sunglasses. I'm not even gonna lie. They're $65 on the Key Sunglass website, but they're out of stock. So if you guys are having a, an issue buying the sunglasses, I would go to her directly um, or just go to like any other stores that they list that are listing these sunglasses particularly. These sunglasses are bomb. I love them so much. You can just like put them on top of your head and you're good to go. Like it's just, the sunglasses are bomb. Like they're just gorgeous. So again, if you guys, this is like one of my favorites of this month, like hands down, like this is my number one favorite because sunglasses are dope and they're just a good accessory to have. So again, this is what it comes in, just this little package, it just says Key Australia and then Desi Perkins. I'm obsessed with this. If you guys do want to get these sunglasses, go to her or go to the Key Society and see where are they selling more of. These are the high key and black. Um, these are just gorgeous. Here's a close up. I'm obsessed. Like, they're just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm obsessed with them. That is my June and July favorites for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to know any of these products, will be down in the description down below. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I had an amazing, amazing time filming this. And if you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments as usual. And again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. And if you have any questions about these products that I've used and how to use them, I do use most of these products in my daily routine. Um, again, with palettes and stuff wise, I have three videos up, the Natural Glow video, the Morphe palette, and um, I'm about to put up a Bambi look, so that should be up tomorrow, but um, while well, this is going up and some other time, so should be up sometime this week, so again, you know, these are all overlaying each other, so just kind of watch out for videos. Um, if you guys do want to see a review of the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, go look down in the description down below. I did do a review. It is out right now. So if you guys want to see a review of this foundation, just click down below. And also, I used this in today in this review. I used this foundation in this favorites video today. And I used the Maybelline in another tutorial. So if you guys want to see what those two comparisons look like on my skin, you guys can look at both those tutorials. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this favorites video so much. I love doing favorites. And if you guys want to see more favorites of the month, please let me know in the description down below. I love you guys so much. Please remember to like and subscribe. My goal is to get to 200 subscribers or even more. Like, come on now. I don't want to be greedy. But, you know, just got to, you know, ooh, highlight is popping. You know what I'm saying? So um, I love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time in our next series video. And again, if you want to see any other videos, please let me know. Go check out the review video, the new vamp look, and the series video. Love you guys so much. Bye. <sighs> I'm so thirsty right now. Oh my God. We don't want to mess up your lipstick. Oh my god, I can't not speak today. I am rambling and I just don't know what I'm saying. It's just ugh, horrible. Ugh. Now to clean up this shitty ass mess, I am not looking forward to it.